Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Don't blame yourself for thinking that way. This is the correct thinking. Everyone has their own journey, they have their own bag. And then you know what, what are you doing? You are carrying your bag and their bag. Because you embraced his suffering. So that suffering came to your bag too. You are carrying something that is not yours, a weight that is not yours. You didn't choose this. You chose to carry his bag. So there it is, it got even heavier for you. So put this on your list, I need to learn to think about myself, and until this moment I haven't. How am I going to transmute this? Making a decision that is good for me and for him. Great, the universe will show you this solution. If you have love in your heart, the universe will show it. It will give him the solution so he still feels cared for, and you can lead your life. And you keep loving him the same way, nothing changes about love. You don't have to be subservient to show love. You don't have to be there 24 hours a day taking care of someone to show love. No, your love is demonstrated in you, put someone in charge, who is as caring as you are and you don't miss anything, including attention. So it's not abandoning, it's not abandoning that person, it's being with them whenever possible, but no longer available. That's where it changes, because that person also likes to see you at their disposal, doing everything they ask. It's as if she had that feeling, ah, since I can't do it, she won't be able to do it either. Basically, that's it. So you are not abandoning anyone, you are just taking charge of your journey. And dropping the bag that isn't yours, that suffering is not yours. So you don't have to carry it. Then many will say, ah, but for us to do this, we often need to have money to pay someone. I agree, what did I just say? You wanting this with love in your heart, not with anger or resentment, it is with love, the universe finds a way. Ah, the universe gives. The problem is that you don't believe it. You think that everything that comes will have expenses, that's not the case. The universe knows exactly how to do it. Try. Try to do this, transmute this feeling and use the currency as, I'm going to think about myself, I'm going to take care of my journey. The universe will understand that it has to do something. You don't need to say anything. Just say, I will mind my walk. From now on, I will take care of myself. He finished. This is filmed, do you remember? And the universe is looking at your record. Oops. She gave me an assignment, here I will have to find a way. So that she can take charge of her life, that other person will no longer be trapped. My brothers, do you realize how much you have to search your lives? And you have to be extremely truthful, don't be ashamed to write. Ah, I'm angry with so and so. Very good. How will you transmute this? I'm going to stop having this feeling for so and so, I'm going to try to accept him the way he is. Okay, did you say you were going to love so and so? No, you didn't say that you would love so and so. You just said that this feeling you will no longer have for him. I will no longer harbor low feelings towards so and so. And that includes anger, hatred, envy, hurt, whatever you want, revenge. No one here told you to love so and so. You just won't care for him anymore. And you are decreeing this, from now on, I will only have good feelings towards so and so or I will refrain from expressing negative feelings towards so and so. And that was it, it was transmuted, because when you feel angry, you send that anger to the other person and they receive it. Everything you do, feelings and actions, the other receives, if anyone is involved in the situation. So my brothers, write a lot ask the angels for help and they are ready to help you transmute everything. And don't forget to leave a column for the end of the day, go there and say, I transmuted. 
I transmuted. I transmuted. Now, don't be smart and think you've transmuted everything. That bag won't empty and you won't understand why. Why doesn't my bag empty? Because you are deceiving yourself, you are not transmuting anything. So it is preferable to take that problem and say, today I'm not ready. Throw him back in the bag and move on. Then to say, ah, okay, I transmuted. He went back into the bag, you didn't transmute anything. My brothers, you have to be focused at the moment. And everything you transmute will be felt by you as a great joy. Now, whatever you say transmuted, but inside you gave that bad feeling, you didn't transmute it was nothing. Leave it for another day. So there is no difficulty, there is a lack of faith. Because if you have faith and trust, you trust that we will help each one of you put together this list and discover how to transmute. Now for those who don't believe it, it's really going to be difficult. You'll go through all the rays and you'll still be fed up. Pass through the rays as many times as you want and need. No problem, no one is better or worse for it. So, it is explained once again. I'm not going to repeat myself here every day, because otherwise, we won't leave the place. So today will be the golden yellow ray. The Ray of Wisdom The blue ray is the ray of creation, where you start new projects. In this ray you will gain the wisdom to know how to maintain everything that you have created in the blue ray. Then all those decrees that you made, you will find the wisdom to know how to keep them. Master Lanto So today wait and you will do his meditation. And once again, yesterday I realized that this doubt arose. At some point did I say that I would have a time to do meditation? At some point did I say it would be in a group? Where did you get this idea? I think I wasn't clear enough when I said that I don't want any more group meditations. Where did you not understand when I said that? Then I said meditation yesterday, a lot of people asked what time the group meditation would be. I think I'm speaking to the wind, because I speak and you don't listen. I don't want group meditations. This is an individual walk, how are you going to do it in a group? There's no logic. It's every man for himself. Don't wait for your little friend to take you by the hand, to walk through the rays. This is a lonely walk. If you think it's too complicated, don't do it. What do you want me to say? If you start to put so many obstacles, so many impediments, just don't do it. Now don't disturb others, asking how to do it. This is the third explanation video, because I explained a little on Monday, I explained it live yesterday, and I'm explaining it again. So please don't disturb others by asking how to do it. I already said here, whoever doesn't know how to do it, ask your masters, angels, ask whoever you want for help, not someone else. This help has to come from above, because the other person may not know how to explain it to you and will mess with your head even more. So you have to ask those who are close to you, spiritually speaking. Don't ask anyone for help, because whoever sends a message, that will be the answer. Ask your masters, your guides, your angels for help. So don't send the question, don't ask for help. I'm giving an order. I hope you are understanding. I don't want anyone helping anyone. This is a solitary journey, in which each person has to seek their spiritual sources, not the other. Did you understand? So don't ask anyone. Many here are angry about this, I don't care. I know very well what is being done. My brothers, I have already been telling you this for a few days the journey will become increasingly difficult. And you won't have a little brother by your side to help you. You will have to rely on the guides you have close to you. Guides, generally speaking, masters, angels, archangels, whoever you want to call them. Sananda, Maria, the saints you have devotion to, it doesn't matter. 
Call whoever you want. But not the other one. You have to learn to rely on what you have around you, not the little friend next door. I hope this is clear to all those who support you. Nobody has to help anyone. Ah, how am I going to transmute this? No, you have to find the answer. Because the way that someone else gives you the answer may not be the right one for you. So don't look to others for help. The help is spiritual, not physical. I hope I made myself understood. Then you say I scold you, I have to give, because you don't accept what I say, you don't fulfill what I say, it seems like I speak to the wind. I didn't understand, why they wanted to do meditation yesterday with the schedule and group, I didn't understand. Where did I say that? Well, starting tomorrow, I won't say anything more about it. The matter ends here, and let everyone take their own journey. There are instructions, everything has been explained very well here. So there's no need to have any more questions. Each one will take their own journey. I hope I made myself understood. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here, ready to help, each and every one of you. All you need to do is ask for my help. And be sure that everyone else, including the masters, is also ready to help you. All you need to do is ask, but ask with your heart.